Mutation. It is the key to our evolution. It has enabled us to evolve from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet. Since the original comic's inception back in 1963, nearly six decades ago, the X-Men franchise has been a bastion of celebrating humanity's differences and uniting for a common cause. You see, I think what you really are afraid of is me. Me and my kind. The Brotherhood of Mutants. Oh, it's not so surprising, really. Mankind has always feared what it doesn't understand. Today we're going to be looking at its self-titled first live-action theatrical release from 2000 and breaking down three elements of social commentary that are interwoven into the film. We must know who they are, and above all, we must know what they can do. Number one, sexuality. Many mutants are ashamed of being a mutant and try to hide their identity. Trying to hide their mutant characteristics is akin to those in the LGBT plus community who are still in the closet or are not publicly open about their sexuality. When mutants do reveal to their parents that they are a mutant, their parents are usually either very supportive or disown them. When people come out of the closet and reveal their sexuality to their parents, it can be a very painful or loving experience based on their parents' reactions. You know, people like you are the reason I was afraid to go to school as a child. <laughs> Number two. Race. There have been anti-mutant riots and violence against mutants, especially ones who are physically apparent to be mutants. There were many race riots back in the 70s with people of color getting sprayed with fire hoses and having dogs attack them. Recently there's been protests against the violence towards people of color by the police organized by the Black Lives Matter movement. The students are mostly runaways, frightened, alone, some with gifts so extreme that they've become a danger to themselves and those around them. Number three. Diversity. Professor Charles Xavier wishes to have mutants and humans coexist peacefully. There are mutants out there with incredible powers, Logan, and many who do not share my respect for mankind. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. wished for people of color and white people to coexist peacefully. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners, Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. Magneto wishes for a better life for mutants by getting rid of humans. There's no peace, not here, nor anywhere else. Women and children, whole families destroyed simply because they were born different from those in power. Malcolm X wishes for a better treatment for people of color by any means necessary. The purpose of our organization of Afro-American unity, which has the same aim and objective, to fight whoever gets in our way, to bring about the complete independence of people of African descent, and bring about the freedom of these people by any means necessary. Wrapping things up, I've seen the first X-Men movie so many times as a kid, but never really thought about the social commentary until I got older. And rewatching it as an adult for the first time in years, I saw so many things in a new light. Doesn't it ever wake you in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law, or one just like it, and come for you and your children. It does indeed. What do you do when you wake up to that? I feel a great swell of pity for the poor soul who comes to that school looking for trouble. The war is still coming, Charles, and I intend to fight it by any means necessary. I will always be there, old friend.